Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos is expected to unveil plans today for the future of his space company, Blue Origin. He tweeted the first photos of the main engine of his company's future rocket yesterday. It's designed to take tourists into space and to the moon. Chip Reed is at the Washington, D.C. Convention Center, where Bezos will make the announcement to show how it could shake up, shake up the race with SpaceX. Chip, good morning. Good morning. More than 14,000 space engineers, entrepreneurs, and enthusiasts are gathering here to discuss the future of space, and they'll be watching a fierce competition, not between two nations, but between two billionaires. In less than a year, space company Blue Origin has successfully launched and landed its rocket, the New Shepard, five times. Touchdown! But now the company appears to be shifting its focus to a familiar target, the moon. Blue Origin is reportedly circulating a seven-page white paper to NASA and the Trump administration, outlining its plan to develop a new spacecraft to help it establish human settlements on the moon. What he really wants to do is to land this lunar to be able to bring cargo, supplies, equipment, science experiments. And lift off. Bezos' target isn't just Earth's nearest neighbor. He's also aiming at Elon Musk and his rival company, SpaceX. To make its shipments, Blue Origin could use its largest rocket, the New Glenn, named after John Glenn, the first astronaut to orbit the Earth. It will be ready to fly by the end of the decade, capable of directly competing with SpaceX's Falcon rockets. And lift off. SpaceX has already successfully launched 29 Falcon 9 rockets and also has its eyes on the moon. On a conference call last week, Musk announced plans for two private citizens to ride in a lunar capsule as early as next year. It would skim the surface of the moon, go quite a bit further out into deep space, and then loop back to us. Bezos says he wants to do that and more. Our vision is millions of people living and working in space. The two have enjoyed a friendly rivalry for years, but now those who follow their careers closely say their high-stakes competition could lead to high-tech innovation. What these companies want to do is help create a self-sustaining economy in space, and that's what's fueling all of this. During the Obama years, much of the space community was focused on getting to Mars, but now many are refocusing on the moon. And for Bezos and Musk, it is a business opportunity that's simply out of this world. Gail? Mm -hmm. Very well said. Thank you, Chip. And both those guys are at the top of their game, too. It'll be yeah, interesting to see. It's very exciting to see what they're up. doing, yeah. It's nice to see billionaires play the game of who's is bigger. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Thank you, Chip.